Hello, welcome to SS Unitech Social Decide. So today we are going to see a very common SQL interview question and answer. So more than 90% of the interviews interviewer is asking this question or this type of the question. I am taking guarantee if you are watching this video without skipping, then you should be able to answer this question and this type of the questions in the interview without failing. Here, let's try to understand the question first. So we are having two tables like table A1 and table 2. Table 1 is having only one column that is ID and table 2 also having one column that is ID. So here it is having ID 1 3 times, ID 2 2 times, then 3 and null. In case of table 2, ID 1 2 times, ID 2 3 times, then 4 null. While we are going to do the inner join, left outer join right outer join full outer join and cross join what will be the count of the rows so this type of question will be asking very often let me quickly go inside the excel and we'll try to understand how we can know how many rows it will be returning so here as we can see we are having table 1 and table 2 and the same record that we have seen inside the slide so while we are going to do the join what you have to do you have to pick the first row from the left table and we'll try to match with all the rows from the table 2 so one will be going to match with the one then one so first will be going to match with two times so I'm going to write two here then we need to pick again second row from here so that we can see one so this one will be going to match with these two and it will again return 2 next we can see the third one it will again return 2 so this is simply matching each row with all the rows from the table 2 in case of the 2 it will be going to match with the 3 rows as we can see so that's why we can write as 3 rows in case of the 6th row that is again 2 it will be going to match with the 3 times so here we can write as 3 then we can see 3 will not going to match with anyone and null will not be going to match with anyone because two null values are not same inside the SQL server so we can just do the sum of all these rows so we can see 12 as in sum so we can say that your inner join will be 12 now in case of the left outer join what you have to do you have to do the same thing that you have done inside the inner join so first will be going to match with all the rows so it will return two then two then two then in case of the two it will be going to match three times so we can say three and three now here we can see this three is not going to match with anyone and null will not going to match with anyone so in case of these two we can write one and one because it is having only a single value now we can do the sum of all these so it will be your left join that we can see 14 so 14 will be your left join similarly we can do for the right outer join so right outer join again we can do the same thing we can match with the left val table values one by one with all the values from the right table so it will return 2 2 2 3 3 Till now we are using inner join now in case of the right outer join now we can see the right side values those has not been matched so 4 is not matched with the left table and null will not be matched with the left table so these two will be having 1 1 so we can see again 14 so in case of the right join it will be 14 now in case of the full outer join we can do the inner join as we have done now we need to write all the values those has not been matched so as we can see three and null so like these two values has not matched with the right table so we can write two now four and null again not match with the left table so it will again two then we can do the sum of all these so it will be your full join so we can see 16 so it will be 16 in case of the cross join we are seeing like it is having total seven rows so seven multiplied by seven so that will be your cross join so that is 49 so by using this approach you will never fail and you should be able to answer this question very easily so let me quickly go inside the ssms and we'll try to verify what you have seen over here is the same count we are getting or not 
so here we have the table one and table two so these two temp tables i am going to create and inserting the data into this table now records has been inserted and table is created now first we can see inner join so let me try to execute for the inner join we can see 12 we have also seen inside the excel that is 12 let me go for the left join so in case of the left join it is 14 we have seen 14 similarly we can check for the right outer join so it is again 14 we can see that is 14 then we have 16 in case of the full join so here we can see 16 in case of the full join and last for the cross join it is 49 that we can see inside the excel we can verify that so i hope guys you have understand how you can provide the answer to the interviewer thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon to get the notification of our newly uploaded videos see you in the next video